symptoms of kidney disease is a chronic, progressive disease. As a result, there are specific symptoms associated with its progression. Many nephrologists, kidney specialists, use the standard classification system to describe these common symptoms and stages. Many symptoms are associated with what is known as the glomerular filtration rate, GFR. According to the Foundation for Eye Nephropathy, the GFR is the rate at which the kidneys filter waste and relates to a patient's kidney function. Stage 1 Signs of mild kidney disease but with normal or better GFR, greater than 90% kidney function. Stage 2 Signs of mild kidney disease with reduced GFR, indicating 60% to 89% kidney function. Symptoms of Stage 1 and 2 Chronic kidney disease stages 1 to 2, early chronic renal insufficiency. 1. Physical symptoms. Usually few or no physical symptoms that you can feel, other than those you may experience if you have heavy proteinuria. 2. Blood work. Blood work results will show abnormalities, mainly a slightly elevated serum creatinine. Note that there is often a time lag between elevations of serum creatinine and some progression of the egan. By the time serum creatinine is elevated, the person may already have lost 50% of kidney function. 3. Urinalysis. Urine will show abnormalities. Urine can be checked by dipstick in the doctor's office, as an initial check, and followed up with a more complete urinalysis. The main urine abnormality that will suggest a kidney disease is the presence of protein and or blood. Either will usually trigger further investigation. However, blood and or protein in the urine don't say anything about actual kidney function. 4. Treatment. Treatment may involve some mild dietary changes, a lower protein diet may in some cases be recommended, and a blood pressure medication may be prescribed, usually of the ACE inhibitor class, the angiotensin II receptor class, or both, even if blood pressure is not really elevated much. 5. Blood pressure. Some people start having high blood pressure even in early chronic renal failure. Again is one kidney disease that can do this. 6. Anemia. Anemia may rarely occur at this stage. In this case, it is most often caused by having heavy proteinuria rather than actual chronic renal insufficiency. Stage 3. Signs of moderate chronic renal insufficiency, where the GFR indicates 40% to 59% kidney function. Stage 4. Signs of severe chronic renal insufficiency, where the GFR indicates 15% to 29% kidney function. Symptoms of Stage 3 and 4 Chronic Kidney Disease Stages 3 to 4 Advanced Chronic Renal Insufficiency 1. Physical Symptoms You may still feel completely normal at this stage, or you may begin to experience one or more of the following symptoms. 2. Serum Creatinine Serum creatinine will be higher, indicating less than 30% kidney function. 3. Tiredness or Fatigue 4. Puffiness or swelling, obvious in the hands or feet and ankles, but the puffiness will often first be seen around the eyes. 5. Back pain. Chronic kidney disease back pain is usually felt as a dull ache anywhere in the mid to lower portion of the back, on one side or the other. This is sometimes referred to as flank pain or loin pain. 6. Appetite. Changes in appetite or eating pattern. Foods may start tasting funny. 7. Urine. Changes in urination, amount, color, frequency. Urine may in fact look exceptionally clear at this point, rather than abnormal. This is because little is actually being filtered into it by your kidneys. Previously high proteinuria and or hematuria may actually improve. 8. Blood pressure. High blood pressure, also referred to as hypertension. 9. Digestion. Poor digestion, varying degrees of gastroparesis, which means that digestion is slowed. Stage 5. Signs of end-stage renal failure, where the GFR indicates less than 15% kidney function. Symptoms of Stage 5. Chronic kidney disease stage 5, and stage renal failure, or late chronic renal insufficiency. 1. Anemia, may begin earlier than this. 2. Easy bleeding and bruising. 3. Headache. 4. Fatigue and drowsy feeling, more than normal or usual for you. 5. Weakness. 6. 
Mental symptoms such as lowered mental alertness, trouble concentrating, confusion, seizures. 7. Nausea, vomiting, and generally less desire to eat. 8. Thirst. 9. Muscle cramps, muscle twitching. 10. Noxria, nighttime urination. 11. Numb sensation in the extremities. 12. Diarrhea. 13. Itchy skin, itchy eyes. 14. Skin color changes, grayish complexion, sometimes yellowish brownish tone. 15. Swelling and puffiness, more than you had while in advanced renal failure, and most likely in the feet and or ankles. 16. Difficulty breathing, due to fluid in the lungs, anemia. 17. High blood pressure, with again, you may already have had this since the early stages. 18. Decreased sexual interest. 19. Changes in menstrual cycle, and difficulty getting pregnant. 20. Decreased urine output, however, you should be aware that some people with ESRD will continue to get rid of water as urine, but not wastes, therefore, the urine may be very clear and normal looking, and some may have increased urine output rather than decreased. 21. Poor digestion, varying degrees of gastroparesis. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get more tips.